you remember the Green Lantern turkey and bacon avocado sandwich from Subway? Well today, I'm going to make it at home, and it's going to be so good, even your power ring won't be able to conjure this up. That's really cool. <laughs> no, it isn't. Welcome to Lights Camera Kitchen. Today, the Green Lantern Turkey and Bacon Avocado Sandwich from Subway. Do you remember Green Lantern? That amazing film that was supposed to spawn an entire DC universe of movies, directed by the same guy that did Casino Royale, and Goldeneye, and Mask of Zorro? So, this is a first today. I'm actually going to be able to try the product that was out when the movie was out. You can go to Subway right now. Please don't do that. And you can get yourself a foot-long turkey, bacon, and avocado sandwich with lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and red onion. Here it is. I'm worried. I don't know what that was. So when I went there, the guy was just like, you want avocado? I was like, yeah, yeah, can you get me avocado? He went in the back and he brought out this, I can only describe it as like plastic pocket. And in this pocket, was just green sludge. And then he pooped out the guacamole all over my sandwich. Was that thing ever an avocado? Okay, my fingers are so disgusting right now. This was like opening a baby's nappy. What, poop, green poop. This looks like the villain from Green Lantern. Hi. That's what you're getting at Subway. All right, I'm going in for my first bite of this guacamole poop sandwich. My first reaction is there's no taste to this sandwich. The turkey was like this wet, wafer-thin mystery meat that was just sitting out there. And when he grabbed it, I could see like a film layer of wet on it. Like the light just hit it and it just blinded. I literally can't taste a thing. Do I have COVID? A few moments later. Yeah! This has taste. So I don't have COVID. We're gonna make it at home. It's gonna be so much better. And you're gonna go like, wow, Green Lantern actually was a good movie. Lies. Oh, lies! All right, let's make this thing. Okay, to start with, let's talk bread. The most important element of any good sandwich. We're gonna be making a hybrid today, which will be a combination of a French baguette and a soft sub roll which is gonna give you bread that's just the perfect vessel for all your sandwich ingredients. <gasps> to start, heat 250 milliliters of semi-skim milk to 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, add seven grams of dry instant yeast, eight grams of diastatic malt powder, which is an enzyme that will give our dough more color and richer flavor. Link is in the description, and just trust me, this is next level baking. This is so much harder than I thought. You could do this. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Mix your milky, yeasty, multi mixture and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then, in a large bowl, add 400 grams of bread flour, 10 grams of honey, 20 grams of olive oil, one tablespoon of salt, and your milky, yeasty, malt mixture. Then mix on low speed. If you don't have a mixer, you can use your hands, but as always, I'll warn you, those hands gonna get sticky. Once your dough is formed, take it out and knead for an additional few minutes until a smooth, supple ball of dough presents itself. Lightly oil a large bowl and apparently lose all motor functions when doing it. I mean, seriously, why can't I keep the brush in the bowl? Once oiled, place your dough back in the bowl, cover with plastic wrap and let rise for one hour or until doubled in size. Once risen, Punch it down because the color yellow is your greatest weakness and your lantern ring is powerless against it. Then place it on your work surface and cut it into equal fourths. Each fourth should weigh around 175 grams. Then, with your fingers, gently press down on the dough and form a rectangle. Then starting from the bottom, roll up your rectangle into a tube and seal the fold to form your sub shape. I'm gonna be using a baguette shaping tray today, link in the description, but a regular baking sheet will work just fine. Just make sure you space out your rolls to give them enough room to rise. Dust your tray with semolina and place your rolls onto the tray. Then dust with more semolina, loosely cover with plastic wrap 
and let rise for two hours or until doubled in size. Once risen, remove the plastic wrap and let's get started on your egg wash. This takes great skill. Crack your egg with one hand, then with your other hand hovering over a bowl, drop the egg into it and do not let any of the yolk leave your... Ah, crap. Okay, here we go again. That's more like it. Now add a splash of water to the whites, then brush the tops of your rolls with the egg wash. Cut a 45 degree angled line into each roll to help give them an even bake. Next, place them on the middle rack of a preheated oven set to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. I can do that. Take six ice cubes and put them into a preheated pan at the bottom of your oven. Spray your oven with water and create a nice steam sauna to help your rolls form a crust. I can do that. Then immediately close the door and bake for 10 minutes. Once that time has passed, remove and reverse to help with even color and bake for an additional 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them. We want them golden brown, not burnt. When baked, take them out of the oven, place on a wire rack and marvel at what you've achieved. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> okay, next up, the guacamole. Take one ripe avocado, remove the stem, cut through the center horizontally, remove the seed, and recite the oath. Beware my power. Green Lantern's life. Next, peel the skin off, then dice into chunks, and place into a medium-sized bowl. Then slice and juice one whole lime, Add one teaspoon of flaky salt, one clove of naked garlic, minced. Add an optional pinch of dried chili flakes. Then taking a fork, press down and mash until your mean green guacamole appears. Ah, green! Next up, your homemade mayo. We made this in the last episode, so I'll be quick. Take one egg yolk, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, the juice of one lemon, one minced clove of garlic, whisk to combine, then slowly drizzle one cup of vegetable oil whilst whisking. Increase the flow of your oil as your mixture thickens. Then once all the oil is added, do not stop whisking until a thick sauce appears. Then place in a squeeze bottle and you got your mayo. See? Easy peasy. Next, our salad oil dressing. In a bowl, add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, whisk to combine, place in a sealable container, and that's your salad dressing done. God damn, that's beautiful. Now onto the perfect way to cook bacon. On a foil lined baking sheet, evenly space out your strips of bacon. Then place on the top rack of your oven directly under your broiler. Leave the oven door slightly ajar and broil for five minutes. This is gonna give you the crispiest bacon you could possibly imagine. Okay, now onto the vegetables. Take a head of iceberg lettuce, peel off a few layers, cut off the root, then roll up your leaves like a cigar and finally dice into thin strips. Then take a single fresh tomato off the vine, slice it in half, and then cut yourself some thin slices. Make sure to season them with salt to enhance their flavor and to retain their juice. Then take an English cucumber and slice it as finely as possible. I'm talking Goodfellas cutting garlic with a razor thin. And then season with freshly ground black pepper. Now take a red onion, cut off the stem but leave the root. Then make an incision with your knife into the first layer of the onion, peel off the skin, Take a knife and finely slice, giving you thin strips, and then thoroughly wash with cold water to remove their bitterness. Okay, now it's time to assemble your sandwich. Add a generous helping of your mayonnaise, spread it evenly across your perfect crumb canvas, add your slices of smoked turkey, making sure they're all snug in the bread, then add your strips of perfectly cooked crispy bacon, then add your lettuce, a drizzle of that salad dressing, your slices of seasoned tomato, those wafer thin slices of cucumber, your slices of washed red onion, a generous portion of your guacamole spread across the top, and your sandwich and life is complete. Okay, here it is, the Subway Green Lantern Sandwich. I'm not gonna list all the ingredients, you know already, and I don't know why Subway did that. Green Lantern, end of career, and yet you're still going. Why? None of us can understand. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go in for my first bite. Mm. You hear how crispy? Isn't that crispy bottom? Love a crispy bottom.
Oh, this is really good. The smoked turkey that's in there is just, it's got so much depth to the flavor. Then that bacon, which is crisp, and it just adds that extra layer of salt in there. And then you've got all of the veg that all have their own place in there. Then the mayonnaise, it's there. It's not overpowering. It's like letting you know, like, hey, I'm a little creamy guy, and I just want to be here. Who put a flavor grenade in my mouth? Oh, I'm going to shake that dice, and I'm going to get a sandwich. If I was about to die and I had to give up my power ring and I had to look for someone worthy enough to give it to, found ya. The ring, it chose you. Take it. There isn't one component that's missing when I bite into this. I can taste every single one. It's not like one is overshadowing the other. They all just blend really well together and they find their own place in the sandwich and they just give you the perfect bite every time. I'll give it four out of five avocados, Korg. I was raised by avocados. Oh, that's insanely good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. Goodbye. I'm gonna go look for trouble. Okay, and that was the Green Lantern Subway turkey and bacon and avocado sandwich. So good. The bread, if you don't have good bread, you're already off to such a bad start, you might as well pack it in and just not make a sandwich. And good bread is easy to make. And even if you can't do that, just go out and buy yourself some good fresh baked bread. I'm looking at that bread behind me and it's so distracting because it's so good. All right, this has been another episode of Lights Camera Kitchen. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.